Tom here again from Amazon Lions and today we're going to talk about how to become a millionaire. Now this has been my quest as well. Um, I'm getting there, I'm almost there, but I'm still a six-figure, multi-six-figure seller on Amazon. So I want to get there. So, But the things that I have been doing, and that's what I want to share with you guys, that why is it important to do the things that I have done so that you can actually eventually become a millionaire at a young age. Now, before we get started, let me tell you guys a story, a story about Joe. So Joe is, um, is a great guy. He's done his high school. Now he started a business school and uh, he graduated from there. From there, he started an internship, right? And got a job, got a nine to five job at a corporate world. Got really excited. He's got his 40K salary now. Now he's really happy that he's making 40 now and he's only like 23 and all of a sudden he realizes that okay for me to make to make the 50 60 there my manager is actually telling me okay you gotta be here for a couple of years now joe's 27 he, and he feels like he's paid his dues and he actually started um making money so they give him his annual raise one grand two grand so now he's at 60k at 27 okay He's happy, but he's feeling the age coming, creeping through, and he wants to make more money. And he sees a lot of people making different kinds of money in different businesses like Amazon or any other online business. So Joe's like, no, I'm going to stick with the corporate world. Joe pushes, pushes, pushes. He gets to a management level. Now he's making 80K, but he's 30, 31 now. So all of a sudden, Joe realizes, okay, he's made 80K. Now he wants to make six figures. It takes him until 35 to actually make six figures and get to the VP position and get to like 120, $130,000. And now he's almost touching 40. He's making 150 grand, but he is touching 40. All of a sudden, Joe's thinking about retirement. Oh my God, I'm actually getting older. Now he's pretty much got 25 years, which may sound a lot of time at 65, but it doesn't because what happens when you get older, your marketability goes down and you become very selective with what, what you want to do and the value that you have. Now, Joe's married. Joe's got kids. Joe wants to make more money, right? So Joe's pushing, 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 and he becomes eventually like at a high level position. Executive VP is making $200,000, right? And he's hitting 60. Five years later, Joe retires with a $200,000 salary a year, right? And whatever he saved up for his retirement from his RSPs or what have you or his savings. And that's it. That's Joe's life. Now, Joe is going to enjoy whatever he's made. When you look back at it, he made at the end of his career after 40 years, he made $200,000 a year. Think about that, guys. It may sound like a lot of money for you guys, especially when you're young, but 40 years to actually get to that point? Hell no. You want to get there way faster. And that's the point of this video. Is to, it's a cautionary tale that getting stuck with the corporate world will actually work against you and it's going to be a... It's going to be a useless use of your talents. Your talents could be used to actually build something for yourself. Here are the four key components of becoming a millionaire and not being stuck at a corporate world like Joe did and only make 200,000 a year at the end of his career. The key to becoming a millionaire is actually having a multiple source of income. And there are a few ways you can do this over time. If your corporate job can give you that backbone to actually save some money in the beginning, by all means do so. But I can guarantee you from a nine to five job, nobody's going to become a millionaire. Even if you're, if you're actually making really good money, like 200,000, you're not going to become a millionaire. Think about it. It'll take you five years to make a million dollars, right? But that doesn't mean you're a millionaire. That means you're just paying off bills and you barely have like probably even $200,000 savings at the end of it, at the end of five years in your account. And that's the best case scenario, guys. So building multiple sources of income is very important. And here are the top four that I think actually can get you guys there a lot faster. So like I said, the first thing is get a job and have some savings. It is so hard to, if and unless somebody can support you and get, loan you the cash that you can start your own business, but get a job, don't get stuck into it. That's my point. Do it for a couple of years, make your money, save your money, and think bigger picture. 
That is the startup of your being becoming a millionaire. Have some savings so you can actually start an Amazon business or something else, an online business. And there is a lot of money in online business, guys. I'm telling you, that's the way the world is going. So you, the first thing you're gonna do when you're young is start an online business and start working for yourself after you've saved money in your corporate job or what have you. Once you start making money and you're actually making money on Amazon or other online sources, now you have created one source. You have your uh, day job if you want to, uh, to keep that income coming, but that's gonna take a lot of time. So get rid of that job and now start investing in real estate. Now I know you probably have a mortgage by now and you actually started um, buying houses, right? At least one, right? Once you start buying your first house and you got to a comfortable position and you're making enough money that you're paying off your mortgage and you have extra layover, don't save that money. Make your money work for you when you're sleeping. Invest in real estate properties. Invest in rental properties, guys. You don't have to get another fancy house. You just get another condo or a townhome and rent it out in a desirable market. That's how you will start building your assets. That's how you'll start building your net worth. As you guys know, real estate is one of the best investments out there because there is no depreciation. It's only appreciation. Now, over time, when you start, let's say if Joe had invested early on and had, let's say, five investment properties, by the time he retired, those properties probably have uh, tripled or quadrupled in value. And Joe could have had at least five, six million dollars out of those if he wanted. Now, that's another source of income that's very, very important that you can actually work on from the time you start working in a corporate job to the time that you actually retire and have your online business or your own business. So never ever negate that even after that guys that could be an income that could be coming into you now mortgages are paid everything is paid so imagine the income just come into your pocket when you retire and even if you don't do any online business or anything else you're making 10 15 thousand dollars a month just from your rental properties by doing nothing how amazing is that now the next one which i've already touched upon is start your own business nobody is gonna make money from their nine to five job if you have your online business perfect try to expand on that try to expand in different avenues if you want to open another tangible business go for it anything you do just do it for yourself work for yourself because that's how people make it to millions nine to five jobs will never get you unless you're a cfo or ceo or something like that and even then you can make a lot more money by having your own business than actually somebody being the ceo of a company so please please start something for yourself and the number four which is absolutely crucial in today's market is build a social media presence Okay, even if you have your businesses, build your YouTube channel, build your Instagram, build your Facebook. Why is this important? Because the power of social media is crazy. It is advertising for your businesses. And not only that, if you get enough followership and stuff like that, you can actually make money from affiliate and affiliate marketing. And there are things that you can do and make money online. There's so many ways, guys, that it is absolutely going to blow your mind. What do you think Kardashians are famous for, right? They started their show, they built their social media profiles. Now, every picture they post, they make millions of dollars. Do you think that they're just posting a picture for no reason? Those pictures are making them a ton of money. They're making money from their show. They're making money from each of their social media platforms. They're making money from their businesses that they have like Dash or uh, which was their retail store or um, Kylie Jenner's uh, the makeup edition and all that, these things, there are multiple source of, uh, sources of income. There is a lot to be learned from the Kardashians in a business sense, right? Like I know a lot of people hate them and this and that, but they are really, really well-rounded businessmen or women. They have built a life and they understand how the world works. They know where to make money and where to make the most money actually. So guys, learn from them social media is absolutely great because even if you use it for your own business that's advertising that's gonna get you more business and that's just 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 gonna bring income to you guys so these are the four my top four so basically starting to work at a corporate to save right start your own business online business and make sure it, whatever it is drop shipping amazon doesn't really matter whatever you are good at right 
invest in real estate make sure that you build a profile over time now um, real estate is much better than stocks I know I've asked I've been asked that question but real estate is much better guys I guarantee you guys so get into that build a profile build a portfolio of multiple multiple units and make sure they're rental so that you can actually get income every month once the mortgage is paid of course and the last is to have a social media presence so you can promote all that and bring more business to your life and more income to your life that's it guys i hope you guys found something valuable today subscribe to this channel hit the like button if you like this video and i'll see you guys next time